the Catholic Church in Chesnate. It sounds curious to say this phrase, but let us look at what it means, for this is an inspiration of the Holy Spirit. It is, checkmate means that the king is threatened and has nowhere to move. It is a game over. At this moment, the church is closed and has the option to open, but in conditions that are not correct. The church needs to be open. The church needs to open. The faithful need the sacraments. But what happens? The church is not allowed to do Holy Mass in a holy way. Let me explain. It is not right for the church to open its doors again to offend God. It is as if the church is cornered. If it doesn't open, what will the priest do? What will the faithful do who want to confess and receive Holy Communion? If the church opens, who will participate in a rite which is more pagan than holy? Because the presence of God is not being venerated on the altar if the priest is going to wear a mask during consecration. Neither is holy for the priest to hand over the body of Christ in silence as if he were handing out cookies. He must confess his faith and say, Body of Christ, the person who receives the Lord must answer, Amen. But neither can he receive the Lord sitting and in the hand. He must kneel down and then receive him in the mouth. If the church remains closed, we are in a very bad shape. But if the church opens to profane Christ, we are even worse. That's why the church is in checkmate. It means that the game is over. The church has existed to reflect the holiness of Christ in his people, because the church is the holy body of Christ. The time has come when God no longer wants to accept the sacrilegious sacrifices that have been made in most temples. We are living in worse times than Sodom and Gomorrah. And in Isaiah, the Lord says to his people in chapter 1st, verse 10, Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Hear the teaching of our God, you people of Gomorrah. Isaiah chapter 1st, verses 11 to 16. What are the multitude of your sacrifices to me? When you lift up your hands, I turn away my eyes from you. Even if you multiply your prayers, I will not listen to them, for your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean, let your wicked deeds depart from my sight, let your rebel doing cease. Most of the priests have lost their faith, for they do not believe that Jesus is really present in the consecrated host. They do not believe that God comes to the altar during the consecration. They do not believe that God has the power to protect his people. For if they did, the temples would not have been closed. But there was no courage in the priests, the bishops, the cardinals, and the pope. They gave all the power, honor, and glory to the coronavirus to the very devil himself who filled them with fear. In deep prayer, I asked the Lord about the situation of the church. The Lord gave me a vision of the church on earth, as a gigantic rock, hundreds of meters high. At the base of the rock, there was an entrance, like a hole that led into the rock. But in front of that entrance, there was a rock the size of a large house that covered it and did not allow access to its interior. I interpret this vision as the discouragement God feels about the state of his church, for he prefers to keep it closed than to open it so that his body and blood may be profaned. Coincidentally, 
That day, I received a message given to Blessed Luisa Picareta, the little daughter of the Divine Will, on February 12, 1918, in which the Lord speaks about empty temples and complains about the harshness of men. Luisa says, Continuing my usual state, the always kind Jesus made himself look very afflicted. And I said to him, My love, why are you so afflicted? And he, Ah, my daughter, when I allowed the churches to be deserted, the ministers dispersed, the masses diminished, it will mean that the sacrifices are offenses to me, the prayers insults, the adorations irreverent, the confessions pastimes and without fruit, therefore not finding my glory any more but offenses, nor the good of them, not serving me any more, I take them away. But this tearing away of the ministers from my sanctuary means that things have reached the most evil point and that the diversity of the punishments will multiply. How hard is man? How hard is he? If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel The Work of God, share on social networks, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. What do you think about this reflection? God bless you.